Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Born of Levi, and you're now tuned in to the Born of Levi experience. I want to thank you guys for coming in and checking out this video and checking out my content. I really love and appreciate the support. I appreciate all the, you know, the feedback that I've been getting, you know, all the words of encouragement for the channel, man. I thank you and I appreciate you guys, man. And let's keep going. Let's keep pushing this thing, right? And for all you newcomers, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like, hit the bell too, so you can get all the notifications of when I'm coming on and when I'm dropping new things, man. Let's do this thing right um nonetheless i want to get right into it it's a beautiful topic that i want to get into and it's a a well needed topic man we're going to talk about finances a little bit right and i'm going to put this statement out there first and foremost this is not financial advice okay it's not financial advice i am not a financial advisor the information that I'm talking about right now is for educational purposes only. And one would say, why haven't the education system taught us this at earlier ages, right? But, you know, we're trying to unravel the grand scheme of things. So we're going to we're going to get into it, man. And I'm going to gonna talk about finances, right? We're going to talk about the banking system, right? What the banks didn't want us to know. They never wanted us to find this information now, but we're living in a time of an age of information where the scripture says that, you know, people will run to and fro and, and will and knowledge will increase. So we're in that time. Right. But, you know, it's better late than never. Right. It's, you know, praise the most high that we are able to go into this information and, you know, you know, and delve in and, and you know, make a little something out of it. Right. What are we going to talk about it? We're going to talk about the banking system. We're going to talk about finances. We're going to talk about investing, right? Investing. Because a lot of people don't even know that your money, that you're, that, that's the, the money that you have that's sitting in the bank right now, the bankers, they're investing that money for you. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expose something too. The amount of interest that, that they're giving you on the return of your money is disgusting, right is 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 almost like you know it's robbery it's not almost like it is robbery but we're going to talk about it right so now why am i talking about the banking system right almost everybody that i know if you know everybody that 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 that's listening to this video right now is watching this video should have what's called a traditional bank account or what's called a traditional che uh, checking or a savings account, right? But, you know, they, they, they pitch it to you so eloquently. They're like, you know what? Keep your money in our bank, and guess what? We'll give you a certain amount of percentage just for keeping your money in our bank. And, you know, us from the hood, you know, black people from the ghettos, we don't really know anything about interest. We weren't really taught about interest or what's called compound interest, Right. So we just thinking that any type of interest that they're giving us is good interest, but they were banking on your ignorance on my ignorance. Right. And they've done so for so long. And this is why, you know, the banks, they're upset that, you know, platforms like YouTube, where people can now search for things and learn on their own. Right. So now. What am I even trying to, you know, bring forth right now? Right. We're living in a time where the world is changing. The monetary system of the world is going to change pretty soon. Right. And we understand through the scriptures that money is a defense. Right. Money is not to be coveted. Right. I'm going to just put that out there. Money is not to be coveted. Right. Money is to be used for a purpose. Right. And there's another thing that I want to I want to put into the minds of the people is to start to start is to, is to start looking into ways to put your money or to have your money become tangible. Right. Where it could work for you in the future, understanding the system that we're living in, that we're living in, excuse me. Right. That they're looking to change the monetary system from paper fiat money. Yes. Fiat. 
um, into a digital currency system, right? And that's not by accident. All of this is actually Bible prophecy, right? Revelation 13 tells us that, you know, the mark is going to be upon the world, the mark of the, what's called the mark of the beast, right? Where it's going to be a form of payment system where no one will be able to buy or sell unless you have this mark, right? So they're slowly changing this, the world, right, to become digital. So now when you hear a digital currency, right, what do you, what do you, what do you, what, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Cryptocurrency, right? Cryptocurrency is what is like, I, what I believe is the next phase of what the world powers are going to use to start, uh, what's called checks and balances, right? What's going to, they were, they're going to start using to start buying and selling. Now, the question is which cryptocurrency is going to be the, the, the main leading one that's up in the air. But right now, a lot of them, a lot of them are booming, right? A lot of people are making hands over fifth thousands, millions in cryptocurrencies, but be careful when you are trading these currencies, because a lot of them are not stable. Right. A lot of them are just being created by by these nerds and they're creating something what's called a backdoor and taking all of the investors money. So you got to be very careful. Do your due diligence, study, look into what it is that you're trying to, uh, you know, uh, purchase. Don't just put your money into something because you heard somebody say, yeah, this thing is going to this thing is going to make you a million, a millionaire in, in like six months. Six months later, that thing is at zero. Right. Be very careful, family. So, um. With that being said, I just want to talk about the banking system first, right? Because we could talk about cryptocurrency. Like, that's a hot topic, matter of fact. Everybody's talking about cryptocurrency. Everybody, right? Even my own brothers, right, is talking about it. And, you know, a lot of people have something to have a lot to say. I have my own opinions about it, but I'm not going to talk about my opinions about cryptocurrency right now in this, on, on this platform right now. Probably, a, 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 you know, a later video depending on the demand of it, if everybody likes what, what, what I'm saying, then, you know, I'll probably put out a video um, about cryptocurrency. But right now I want to talk about the banking system. So now, did you guys know that your money that's sitting in that bank account, whether it be a checking or a savings account, is being invested over and over and over and over again? And the banking system is actually making a hundredfold, a thousandfold on return on your money. But they said to you, you know what? For you being a loyal customer and trusting us to hold your money that we're playing with in the stock market, we're going to give you, and this is disgusting, we're going to give you 0.01%, right? Like let, 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 me, let me pull this up for you real quick. Here's the average. This is it's crazy. Here's the average interest rate at major U.S. banks. I'm going to just run down the list, right? I'm going to run down the list, and you guys are going to see something very interesting, right? I'm going to teach you something. I'm going to teach you something that you probably never even heard before. I'm going to go into what's called the rule of 72. So let me just read this down to you first, Right? So this is, the, this is the average interest rates at major U.S. banks. So just to run down the few that some of us may be familiar with, familiar with right? We got one that's the, 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 one of the most popular banks that we all know, Chase Bank, right? They have an annual percentage rate for their savings account of 0.02%. So that's what they say they'll give you annually on or annually of the return of your money that you keep in their bank, right? So we have City, we have um, Chase Bank, 0.2%. We have Citibank, which is okay, 0.5%, right? We got HSBC, that's 0.05. Then we got PNC Bank, which is 0.01. TD Bank, 0.02. So these are the numbers that they're giving us when you come and sit down with a representative and, you know, <laughs> You looking to open up an account, right? But they tell you, you know what? If you open up this account today, we'll give you 0.02% on your money every year. So to somebody, to the average Joe, the person who doesn't know anything, right? Who's just, who just want their money when they want their money. 
they hear these numbers, they're like, okay, that's good, man. I think that's really good. But what if I tell you that's horrible? What if I told you that is just outright disrespectful? Because that 0.2% that Chase is going to give you, how, many, how much percentage you think that they yielding on your money that they're playing around with in the stock market? They will never tell you that number, but they'll tell you what they can give you from what they've made. And believe, you, believe it or not, brothers and sisters, what they're going to give you is pennies compared to what they're making, right? So real quick, there's a rule called the rule of 72, right? A lot of people don't know this. If you was in, you know, into finance or if you were into insurance or you understand, you understand these kind of um, uh, lifestyles or, or I'll say professions, I should say, right? If you was in those kind of professions, you would know about the rule of 72. I didn't learn about the, the rule of 72, 72 until about, I'll say about four years ago. I learned about the rule of um, 72 and the, what the rule of 72 basically is, is basically you use the number 72 and you divide that by the percentage of whatever it is, and it would it would gives you the breakdown of how many years it would take for your initial investment to double. Right. So now, let's say let's 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 go back to the averages. Right. We just looked at Chase. I'm using them. Right. I don't even have a Chase account anymore because you know it's too, so so many scammers going on and people are doing something and they're security like, look that's that's another topic but anyways right chase is offering 0.02 percent so now let's say you know you go in there you want to put your money in a savings account right <laughs> and they say they're going to give you 0.02 percent on your money now the rule of 72 says what if you divide if you and you see, this is why you got to, ain't nothing wrong with being old school, okay? I, I still use these, right? I don't just use my phone calculator. But the rule of 72 says, you, you're supposed to divide 72 by the amount of the percentage that they're giving you annually, right? So, point, so 72 divided by 0 0.02. And you get, look at the number you get. You get. 3,600. So in theory, in theory, your money will double in 3,600 years. 3,600. That's how long it would take your initial invest investment to double. Let me do that math again. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, right? Yep, 3,600. So in the rule of 72, if you keep your money in your Chase savings account, right? Your money will double in 3,600 years. And somebody who doesn't understand the rule of 72 would never even think to look outside of a banking system, right? So now, am I saying, is it wrong to have a bank account? No, it's not wrong to have a bank account. I have a bank. I still have a bank account because, you know, that's how our checks go. And we get direct deposit through our jobs or through our employers. And, you know, you can write checks for your businesses. So, yes, have a business. I mean, sorry, have a, a bank account. But would, would I suggest anyone to keep their savings in a bank account? Me, for me personally, I wouldn't because I don't. Right. Because, you know, a lot of people don't understand or are not aware of there of of the fact that there are other ways or other places you can keep your money and guess what the same investments that these bankers are using your money to invest in you can do the same thing and instead of them instead of you settling for that 0.2 percent that they're going to give you annually you will keep the whole initial investment and the interest that you accrue with accounts that yields way more than 0.2%. For, for instance, right? Let's take a look at what's called a, a mutual fund. And you see, I'm, this is education. 
right? I really wish I knew this coming out of high school, right? I really wish I knew this information, but nonetheless, I haven't, I didn't, and I know it now. So it's upon me to do something now, right? So a mutual fund, some might, some might ask, what is a mutual fund, right? So now I'm going to just read this definition for you, right? What is a mutual fund? A mutual fund is a type of financial vehicle made up of a pool of money collected from many investors to invest in securities like stocks, bonds, money market instruments, and other assets, right? Money or sorry, our mutual funds give small or individual investors like the, like me and you, which we are, right? Access to professionally managed portfolios of equities, bonds, and other securities, Right? So the professionals are using mutual funds to invest our money to make back the percentage rates that they're getting, and they're able to give us 0.02% of what they've made, right? So mutual funds were designed for the small man, like me, you, right? Not for the, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't made, or it, it's still made for them too, but it's made for the small man to get ahead so, so we can get a piece of that pie. Right. And this is what the banks don't want you to know. You can keep your money in a money mutual or sorry, or a mutual fund account. Right. And and get a, a greater percentage yield than a bank would give you for it. For instance. All right. Let's look at this. So now some of you might say. What is the average. Return on a money mutual fund. Right. And like I said, there's plenty. And if you do your research, brothers and sisters, man, there's a lot of money mutual funds that's out there where you can invest your money. in. Right. You just make, like if, 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 if you're the kind of person that's scared and don't trust the market like that, I'm telling you right now, you got to get, get over that fear. Right. I'm not telling you to go and invest your money. But if you're somebody who just don't know what to do with your money, it's best that instead of you let it sit in a bank account where it's not getting you no interest or it's going to take you 3000 years to get <laughs> to make your money double you might as well keep your money in a money mutual account or even a money market account right a mutual fund account or a money market account we'll talk about that later right but the mutual fund right so now i'm looking at um a website right it's called the balance.com and the average mutual fund returns in 2020 and the long term so this was from last year's results what they got right so just to run down some of the money mutual funds i keep saying money mutual maybe i should talk about that but um just uh some of the mutual fund accounts right just a few we have the u.s large cap stocks right which is a mutual fund account so we got the U.S. large cap and the U.S. mid cap and the U.S. small cap. So these are three different funds. So last year, the large cap yielded a percentage of 13.76. The mid cap yielded a percentage of 11.5, 11 11.5, 11 so 11.50. And the small cap yielded a percentage of 10.25%. That was for the year. So now, using the same rule of 72, right? Let's take a look at that. So now the rule of 72 says, right? Let's look at the U.S. large cap stock. So if we use the rule of 72 for the U.S. large cap stock, let's see how long it would take for your initial investment in this mutual fund to double, right? So yeah, last year, they had a percentage yield of, right, 13.76. So, brothers and sisters, it, it would take, according to the rule of 72, it would take for your money to double in a large cap mutual fund account five years. Roughly five years, five years, five years and a half. It's it's showing. So this is a way better deal than you keeping your money in a bank account. I don't. It's a it's a no brainer. 
So if I just leave my money, if I was to just leave my money in a U.S. large cap stock for five years, my initial investment would double within five years. But if I left that same initial investment in a banking savings account, it would have took my my money damn near 3000 years to double. That is robbery. And through and, it, you know, all and, and imagine all those years you left your you leave your money in that bank account. In a, in a regular traditional bank account, they're making way more than 13 percent on your money. But they're only willing to give you 0.02 percent. That is disrespectful. <laughs> right. This is crazy. And we can go on and 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 on again. Right. But I just I'm just trying I just came on to show brothers and sisters that yo, we need to start understanding and utilizing what the nation's been using all these years to get ahead. Yes. All right. We're behind the eight ball. I understand. But just because we're behind the eight ball or we're late to the party doesn't mean we don't dance. You come late to the party, you still got to dance. All right. So don't don't feel like, OK, you know we can't do nothing with, 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 with the information we got right now. We should have been doing this years ago. Nah, you might as well start somewhere, right? You might as well start somewhere. So now somebody might ask, right? Where, can, how can I invest my money into these, into these funds, right? You have to get what's called a brokerage account, a brokerage account. So a brokerage account is different from a bank account. But you can use it as a bank account. Some brokerage or some brokerage firms have uh, have have ways where you can apply for debit cards and you can use that as a bank account. That's what I do. The bulk of my savings is in a brokerage account. Right. And I have other brokerages where I use to play around with certain things, certain stocks. If I'm you know playing around, that's another topic. Right. And, I, and like I said, this is not financial advice, you know, and if you are going to. Uh, indulge into stocks be very very careful because stocks don't care about you okay the stock market doesn't have any feelings <laughs> so if you do not have any discipline you're gonna burn right it's gonna it's gonna get you so you get you gotta with but that, that goes to show with everything that you do you have to have what's called discipline you gotta have discipline it's it's needed right so what i'm gonna do for for everybody here right you know, you can't never say I never gave you nothing. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description um, for a free brokerage account. Right. Which is called Robinhood. A lot of people use Robinhood. So the, the, the you know, the perk with this now is you'll get, I, I believe, it's about one to three stocks. Right. And you and they'll give you that for free just for signing up. So, you know, just use my use my link in the um in the description and um courtesy of me. Yeah, I'm giving that to you so that you can you can get started and and start start to um, you know, just explore what's called investing. But, you know, I suggest that you guys look into mutual fund accounts, right? It's better than having a banking or leaving your money in a savings account where they're not giving you nothing and they're making hand over fist with your money is it's, it's, it's absurd but you know nonetheless this is what's happening and i think this is something that you know brothers and sisters really got to look into because even um christ himself he even made mention of banks in the scriptures a lot of y'all don't even realize that right um uh, matthew 25 verse 27 he spoke about it he definitely spoke about uh the unprofitable servant who was scared to use his talent and then and when the master came the master was like yo i would have rather you i would have rather you put my money into the bank right where it could gain some interest so i could receive what you gave me what i gave you back with some interest so is interest on your money is not a new concept right it's an ancient concept it's just something that we just haven't been uh privy to so please guys do your due diligence study to show yourself approved and, you know, you know, try to do better for you and your family, man. But this is the information that banks didn't want you to know. But I'm going to tell you because I don't care. I don't work for the banks. I work for me. <laughs> nah, let me stop. But, um, you know, I hope this information helps you out. 
right? Um, definitely look look into mutual funds, right? Uh, and you know, just learn, right? That's the same way I did. I had to learn. I I heard of something and I started I started researching, and then I got involved in investing in all these things. And you know, it 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 could be very uh, lucrative if you know what you're doing, but it could also be very damning if you are greedy and if you are. <laughs> If you have no discipline, so please be careful, brothers and sisters, right? This is just for ed educational purposes only to educate you on what's going on around you, right? So uh, thank you guys for tuning in, right? And, and matter of fact, before before we leave, man, uh, drop some comments in the comment section. Let me know what it is that you do to invest. How do you invest? How do you make your money work for you, right? Because that, that, at the end of the day, that's what we need to be doing. We need to be making our money, the money that we work for, that we work so hard for. We wake up, er, you know, wee hours in the morning. We come back home when the sun is setting. This money that we're getting, how do you make that money work for you, right? And maybe, and maybe that's another topic that we could talk about at a later time. See, you know, we could brainstorm to figure out what we can do to capitalize on the, on, on, you know this infrastructure that we're living in right now before they change this thing because i'm telling you brothers and sisters they're going to change the system the system is going to be turned digital and it's going to fulfill prophecy so you know in the meantime take what they've given you right and turn it into something tangible the word tangible means something that you can you can grab you can obtain you can use for the future right don't just have your money sitting there and, and just looking at it and like dang i got all this money what to do next then you're gonna fall right in line with that parable that christ gave about the the the, the man who was covered to us right who had so much wealth and he he broke down part of his house to make more room for more goods just to look at it and the most high looked at him and said you fool don't you know that I require your soul right now at this moment? <laughs> and he died. And Christ said, what? Who would these things would be left to? Right? So you got to be very careful and be, be beware of covetousness, right? Money is a defense. Money is, is what's called a vehicle to be used to, be, to get you from one point to the next point. That's all it is, right? So use it wisely. Use this information wisely until next time. Peace.